that confided to me they were a part of a program. They named the program. I've never heard of it. They also found a live alien. If these non-human craft are in fact flying around the Earth on almost a nightly basis, would it make sense to you that one or more of these would crash or land? Well, that's, that's the assumption that we have to make if uh, David's story is 100% true. Um, if these objects are flying around that have been for a number of years, the assumption would be that they would likely crash at some point and that there would be an operation to retrieve it. They provided me documents and other, other proof that there was, in fact, a program that the UAP task force was uh, not read into. Number one, Jellyfish UAP in Iraq. This footage was first released on January 10th, 2024 by investigative journalists Jeremy Corbell and George Knapp. Jeremy Corbell is a filmmaker and ufologist based in Los Angeles. He obtained this footage from 2018 of a military filmed UAP incursion within a United States Joint Operations base in Iraq. This UAP was immediately nicknamed the Jellyfish UFO because of its jellyfish-like appearance. The U.S. military drone monitoring this UAP could only view it in thermal vision. The drone that was designated to track this UAP has the potential of locking in on the tire of a remote car from as far as 27 miles away. But this advanced U.S. military drone found it difficult to lock on to this jellyfish UAP thus indicating that some alien technology was trying to jam the signals of the drone so that the UAP went undetected. And the odd part is it kept going white and black, meaning hot and cold instantaneously, so as to not get detected by the thermal vision camera. Which goes to show that this UAP knew it was being monitored for the heat it was emitting, and made immediate modifications to go undetected, thus implying that a sentient being was operating that UAP. After hovering over the U.S. Army base for some time, the UAP then went out over a body of water, plunged into it, and stayed underwater for close to 17 minutes. And after 17 minutes, it shot out of the water at a 45-degree angle with tremendous speed and disappeared. Did the UAP go underwater to hide from the U.S. surveillance drone? Or was that part of its mission to survey the underwater area around the military base for further weaponry? Whatever be the case, the U.S. military has no idea what it was. And if this UAP sighting was mind-boggling, wait till you see the next 11. Number 2. UFO seen by Colombian pilot. This sighting took place on 4th of May, 2023, over Antioquia in Colombia. The footage was captured by the pilot while flying in his Cessna T-303 Crusader. According to him, the object was first seen floating and appeared stationary at a specific point between Medellin and Santa Fe. As they approached the UAP, it suddenly moved towards them. He then moved his plane around and started filming. But as he did so, the UAP started moving towards them. He managed to avoid the UAP while flying at a speed of roughly over 300 kilometers per hour. The pilot expressed fear during the encounter, insisting that the object was neither a balloon, a drone, nor any known object to him. Similar flying spheres were also seen in other parts of the world. Let's continue to know more. Number 3. UFO seen by Ukrainian soldiers during the Russia-Ukraine war. Russian President Vladimir Putin recently said that he would use nuclear weapons if NATO deployed their troops on ground to fight against Russia alongside Ukraine. And it was after this horrendous nuclear threat by Putin that a mysteriously eerie-looking UFO was seen by Ukrainian soldiers. This is the second time that a UFO has been spotted in a war zone. 
Normally, UFOs have been seen above cities and also over mountains, but rarely have UFOs been spotted during an active war by soldiers. The footage shows Ukrainian soldiers from the 406th Battalion totally speechless and horrified after seeing the UFO right in front of them. You can't blame them for such a reaction as for a minute they actually thought that it was a new Russian aircraft that was ready to attack them with a nuclear weapon. But this UFO was disc-shaped and was completely stationary, floating in air for the entire duration. This completely bamboozled the Ukrainian soldiers, who can be heard swearing in Russian, out of fear of not being able to comprehend what they had just witnessed. The scary footage was captured by a heat vision quadcopter drone used by the Ukrainian armed forces. This mysterious hovering object bears a striking resemblance to the Baghdad Phantom, a skinny cylindrical object spotted above Iraq in May 2022 by the infrared heat camera of a U.S. Air Force Reaper drone. And this was not the last time that trained military personnel came across alien spaceships. Number 4. UFO Seen in the Middle East The U.S. Department of Defense released this classified footage in April 2023. This footage was taken somewhere in the Middle East. The exact location has not been disclosed. A military drone captured an apparent silver orb-like object that crossed the sensor's field of view. This video was recorded on 12th of July, 2022. The Department of Defense has said that in spite of multiple analysis, the object still remains unidentified. The flying object seems to be a round, metallic, shiny spear moving in a straight line. Then suddenly it moves to the right when the military drone tries to lock onto its position. This shows that the highly advanced technology of the UAP was able to detect the US military drone without any physical contact. Even till the end of the video, the military drone was not able to focus on the UAP as it kept dodging the sensor. Then one year later, in June 2023, NASA held a press conference to talk about that particular UFO sighting. NASA is also closely working with the Pentagon to find out what exactly they had encountered in the Middle East. But this was not the first time that such a metallic sphere was seen by military personnel. As we move ahead, you will be shocked to see how close some UFOs got to the armed forces. Number 5. Triangular Craft Seen by the U.S. Navy this footage was again leaked by ufologist Jeremy Corbell who had earlier released the Jellyfish UAP video. The video was recorded by U.S. Navy personnel and was captured with a night vision camera from the destroyer USS Russell in 2019. This was then leaked by Jeremy Corbell in 2021. The government's classified briefing clearly mentioned that the triangular UFO was definitely not owned by the United States or any other country, or even a private spaceflight firm. Some think that this might be an advanced version of the Northrop Grumman V-2 Spirit, also known as the Stealth Bomber, that the U.S. military might have been testing at that time. The Stealth Bomber II has a triangular shape and has a similar flight pattern. Surprisingly, the military personnel who recorded this video said that the UFO was behaving in unexpected ways. In addition, the Unidentified Aerial Phenomena Task Force, set up in 2020, couldn't determine what the craft was. Another massive UFO sighting bearing the shape of a triangle took place in Florida, USA. Number 6. UFOs spotted in Sunrise, Florida. This footage was recorded at night from a doorbell camera in Sunrise, Florida in 2023. In this video, three UFOs can be seen to move in the formation of an equilateral triangle. Such a formation would be very difficult to maintain when moving at high speeds by any of the current known aircrafts. The UFOs then eventually disperse in different directions. An eyewitness recorded another footage of the same event from another part of Florida, adding credibility to the sighting. 
This footage gives us a better understanding of how far apart the three UFOs actually are from each other. When seeing the first footage, initially it looks like a singular ship with three lights shining at its three edges. But later you can clearly see that the three UFOs start acting independently and move in opposite directions in precision synchronized fashion. Such synchronized movement has been seen at drone air shows. But it would have to be a very large drone, almost the size of an airplane to shine so brightly in the night sky from such a high altitude. People in Florida are still clueless about what they witnessed that fateful night. But wait till you see the UFO that almost scared the Chilean military personnel. Number 7. UFO Spotted in Chile In 1997, the Chilean government officially created a committee for the study of anomalous aerial phenomena. The committee was created with the sole purpose of studying all reports of UAP activity by commercial military and civilian pilots. And one such documented incident that was highly publicized took place in 2014. Chilean naval officers came across a UAP while flying along the coast of Santiago in their helicopter. What they encountered left them totally dumbstruck and confused. They were at a height of about 4,500 feet and for nine straight minutes they kept recording this strange-looking UAP. At first glance, it looks like an elongated rocket moving horizontally. But as time goes by, the frontal part of the UFO moves ahead, leaving behind a long horizontal part. Even after studying the footage for two years, the Chilean military was unable to identify this unusual aerial phenomena. Also, it seems like aliens have a secret base on the moon. Let's continue to know more. Number 8. UFOs spotted on the moon from Moscow. UFO activity is not just something that happens on Earth, but on our natural satellite as well. A photographer from Moscow, Russia, captured something on the moon that left him totally spellbound. Anyways, there are conspiracy theories that the moon is an alien base, but this footage just solidified such beliefs. Back in 2019, a Russian photographer set up his equipment to shoot a full moon over the city of Moscow. And while trying to focus, he saw something very unusual. At first glance, he could see three circular objects moving near the surface of the moon. And then when he tried to refocus to confirm what he saw, to his amazement, now there were multiple circular UFOs moving at the same speed from left to right over the moon. It seemed like an entire battalion of UFOs was flying out for a mission over the moon. Analysts are still not able to ascertain what exactly these flying circular lunar objects were. And seems like one of these alien spheres made it to South America. Number 9. UFO seen by a commercial pilot in Colombia. This by far has got to be one of the most hard-hitting evidence for UFOs that has ever been caught on tape. The one-of-a-kind video was recorded by the pilot of a commercial airplane in Colombia. In February 2020, an Airbus A320 was on a routine flight soaring over Medellin, Colombia. At about 30,000 feet in the air, the pilot decided to pull out his phone and record the view. But to his astonishment, he spotted a metallic cube with pointy edges moving seamlessly in a straight line. Now, if this was a weather balloon, it would sway from left to right, but this seemed to be moving forward in one direction implying that it was being propelled by a powerful engine of sorts. A similar object was spotted by a U.S. fighter pilot in 2018 over the Atlantic Ocean at an altitude of 35,000 feet. That UFO has still not been identified, and its structure seems to be very similar to the cube-like structure that was seen by the Colombian pilot in 2020. Whether these are alien manned spaceships or just probes sent to monitor the area, neither the US nor the Colombian military has any clue. But these UFO sightings are nothing compared to what the US military has encountered in California. Number 10. 
UAP spotted by Navy pilot in California. U.S. Navy pilots often fly over states for routine naval operations. But back in 2004, during one such routine aerial surveillance operation, a Navy pilot captured something very unusual on his radar. This incident took place off the coast of California. At first, the pilot thought there was some error with his radar, but after some time, he realized that it was indeed an aircraft hovering right in front of him. It was an oval-shaped object that kept hovering in its position for quite some time. Even the pilot who recorded the footage said that this craft was not behaving according to the normal laws of physics. After noticing this weird craft, the pilot reported it to the Department of Defense. For nearly 16 years, the Pentagon kept this video classified, but in April 2020, the Department of Defense released this video to the public. Two other classified videos were also made available to the public in 2020. Number 11, UFO seen by pilots in 2015. The second classified video that was made public involved pilots coming across a flying saucer moving at tremendous speeds. This incident took place in 2015 near the east coast of America. The pilot seemed bamboozled on seeing this UAP at first. What further shocked them was the tilting movement of the craft from left to right that it maneuvered mid-air while traveling at great speeds. The pilot also noted that the UAP was moving against the direction of the wind, which on that particular day had a speed of 120 knots, approximately 138 miles per hour. Thus, this flying saucer would need to possess immense power to move at such great speeds in spite of such obstruction from the wind. The Department of Defense is yet to establish what exactly this UAP was. Number 12. UAP seen by Navy pilots over the ocean. The exact location of this final classified UFO sighting has not been disclosed. But just like the previous two videos, the Pentagon made this classified video public in April 2020. This sighting took place just a few months after the tilting flying saucer was spotted on the east coast of America. From the video, it seems to be a metallic sphere moving in a straight line racing across the surface of the ocean. This also bears a striking resemblance to the metallic sphere that was spotted in the Middle East in 2022 that kept dodging the sensor of the military drone. Luckily, the skilled U.S. Navy pilots were able to lock onto the metallic sphere this time around. The Pentagon released the above three videos with the statement saying that the Department of Defense is releasing the videos in order to clear up any misconceptions by the public on whether or not the footage that has been circulating was real or whether or not there is more to the videos. The aerial phenomena observed in the videos remain characterized as unidentified. And that's the same story even today. None of UFO sightings have ever been confirmed with any concrete physical evidence. But UFO and alien hunters alike are hoping that 2024 will finally be the year in which humans will get to see an alien spacecraft in real. Share your thoughts in the comments section below. And be sure to subscribe to Star Extreme for the latest revelations in space exploration. Hit the bell icon to stay updated and let's continue to explore together.